Hi everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we're going to talk about some of the things you might want to bring with you when going to a tournament. So we get a lot of customers coming into the pro shop that might be going on the road for the first time to their first tournament outside of town, or maybe they bowl in a center that doesn't have a pro shop. Today we're joined by PBA champion Jordan. <laughs> Today we're joined by PBA champion Jordan Jung. He's been kind enough to bring his tournament backpack. Let's take a look at what's inside. First pouch. Shoes. And for me, I always have the shoe tree inside the shoes to protect the shape. Don't want to go to a tourney on flat shoes. Next pouch. This is where all the goodies are. First thing, Avalon. Couple of each, just in case. Never know. You want to get some wet, you want to keep some dry, so I got a couple of each. Notepad, write everything down. Heels and soles for the shoes. Never know where I'm bowling. Sometimes I'm bowling on wood, synthetic, old, new. Make sure I got my bases covered here. Towel. When you're sanding Avalon with wet, you want to dry it off, make sure you got a dry towel with you. Gum. <laughs> Donut to put the ball on while you're Avalon. Mini notepad. Pencil. Pen. Scissors, cut the tape. You know, sometimes I don't like full piece. Shams, got two of them. Stick them together, nice and thick. <laughs> Multiple turbo switch thumbs, all different sizes. As you can see. Screwdriver, flathead for the tape to insert properly in your thumb hole. You want it in the, in the right spot. Cards, in case you're bowling multiple shifts and you have to make a cut to get away from your friends with the full hand. <laughs> Hotel room key. PVA name tag. Storm sticker. Battery. Lip balm. <laughs> We got some coins here for the vending machines. More lip balm. Another lip balm. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, grease pencil for the bowling ball. Or behind your ear for balance. <laughs> so that's all I got. I know it's missing a few things but those things i don't really use so i'd rather keep my bag as light as possible so i noticed you got a couple of notepads there a pencil and a pen yeah. what kind of notes are you taking when you're on the road so big one here i uh write down what balls i have and i graph it like we've been showing you the last couple of vids write down the layouts where they fit and then after the tourney i write like a little tiny report on it because you know, all these tourneys happen once a year, so I'm always going back to the same bowling alley, same tournament year after year. So I go back and I read what happened the year before. And then the small one, this is where I write down my little micro adjustments that I've been making on the lanes. Because lots of these tournaments are two days, right? So the lanes are burning up a little bit quicker, a little bit slower. I write it all down here. And if you hit a pair where one lane is different than the other, and you go back to it later on, you already have that note written down. Yeah, like for example, lane one and two is usually the most difference I see. It'll address lane one and then lane two, so lane one doesn't get the proper pattern out there, so it always looks way more. So I'm keeping those type of notes in here. So I see you got four different thumbs here on the table. Uh, most bowlers only ever use one thumb at one time. Why Why have four for a tournament? Well, I actually have five. My other one's in my bowling ball that I was throwing earlier. Uh, they're all different sizes. One slightly, just a hair, 64th bigger on each one. Just because I know I'm traveling a lot. Well, when COVID's over, I'm traveling a lot. 
uh, lots of different temperatures, lots of different humidities. So thumb's gonna change all the time. Also depends what I eat the night before I bowl, right? So I always want that good, perfect, snug fit. So I give myself five different options for that. Plus tape, so if I don't have a thumb that fits, like fire myself as a ball joke. <laughs> So a little while back, we had a ball surfacing video and went through all the different grits that are available in an Avrilon pad. I see more pads than that here. Is there a reason for that? Kind of. Uh, I use them so often that they get worn out. So whenever they get a little bit worn out, I put a new one in and I keep the old one. Because there's still something to it. 500, for example, I use it a couple times. It's not going to be 500 anymore. So I throw, throw a new 500 in and I keep the old one, just in case. Right? Might be 750. Yeah, exactly. Like that. It falls in between that fresh pad and the fresh thousand, let's say. Yeah. It falls in that, so it gives you a different look than the thousand pad. Yeah, so say I'm using a fresh thousand, ball's not picking up early enough. I'm going to go to my little bit worn out 500 before a brand new one. Give myself another option there. So that's why I got so many. I got like 10, 12 here. So I noticed there's a few things that are missing puff ball, shoe brush, for example, shoe covers. A lot of people have shoe covers when they travel. They put their, their shoes in the bag, they yeah. want to protect them. Why not you? I'm just so lazy. Putting a shoe cover on when I go walk to the washroom is just too much work for me. But, you know, you should definitely have one. You don't want to be stepping in anything. I definitely have stepped in stuff once or twice. It's not fun. Yeah, any sort of liquid, you really feel it on the approach when you try and slide the next time. So the puff balls, a lot of bowlers carry them. They like it for the texture. They like to keep their hand dry. Why not you? I've never used one. I've never used rosin, puff ball, easy slide, none of that. Uh, I try and keep it, I try and keep it nice and simple, like I said. I've never had anything on my hands, my wrists, or arms, so I don't even need to breathe. So I noticed something else that you're missing. A lot of the cleaner. Now I love to use this stuff when, I, when I'm done bowling. I want to clean the ball before I put it away. I don't see it in your bag though. What's the reason for that? The dirtier the ball gets, the better it gets. No, I'm kidding. Uh, I just don't like cleaning my balls in between tournaments. I take them there with very fresh surfaces. And uh, how many games am I really bowling on the first day? Eight, maybe 10 maximum. So I don't feel like I need to clean it after that many game games. But if I were to use cleaner, I would use the Bufa solution. That's right. <laughs> so I see something in your bag that I don't have and I don't think most people have. Not one, not two, but three lip balms. Any reason for that? Yeah, go to Vegas a lot. Well, I used to. It chapped lips, man, no good. I had one, put it in a pouch, forgot where I put it, bought another one. Put it in a different pouch, forgot where I put that, <laughs> bought another one. So now I got three, and I'm keeping all three just in case. Hey! <laughs> so we've seen in previous videos, you're not a fan of uh, finger inserts. You like to go straight into the ball. Uh, most bowlers, though, like the feel of the rubber inserts. It's a good idea to pack a couple extra, maybe a little bit of glue, just in case there's an incident at a tournament where it pops out. You yeah. never know. 1,000%. If your grip pops out and you don't have nothing to put it back in with, or you don't have another grip, you're not using that ball anymore. Big gaping hole there. <laughs> so you want to have an extra set of grips and a little bit of glue, you know, five or 10 bucks, and you can really save yourself a huge headache pulling a big tournament or a league for some money. You know? Especially if you have good ball reaction, you don't want to take that ball out of play. You want to continue to use it as long as possible. So that's a really big bag for not a whole lot of stuff. What's going on there? That's a great question. <laughs> so I got this giant backpack. Huge. When I go on the road or fly somewhere, put my clothes in there too. Because if you're flying, I'm checking in six balls, two bags into the flight. And if it's, if it's a third bag, they charge, you, they charge you an arm and a leg. So put my clothes in here, carry it on with all my accessories, and check my two bowling bags. And when I go on the road, it's just so much easier. Jordan, we got a bit of a mess here. What are we gonna do about it? I don't know, I'm just gonna all throw it back in all one big pouch here. It's all the same wherever you go. Oh, I think we should clean it up a little bit. You cleaned it up. All right. Nice. Not bad, hey? <laughs> Looks like I work here. <laughs> hey, I want you to bait it. Not enough. <laughs> So if a bowler is just starting to put this type of travel bag together, yep. what are the absolute necessities that are on the table here? So absolute necessities, tier one, Avalon pads, right? You need to be able to change the surfaces, change the ball reaction if you're bowling tournament. Absolute necessity, number one, right here. Number two, tape. <clears throat> you're gonna have to 
adjust the fit in your ball so it fits perfectly. You can't bowl if your ball doesn't fit. Also tier one, chamois towels. Great, you want to be able to wipe your ball. Wipe the dust off the airballon if you're using that. Scissors, so you can cut the tape exactly the way you want. Uh, and then you can put the tape on the end of it, put it in the hole exactly where you need it. So that's tier one, that's an absolute bare necessities. Tier two, you want to have multiple different sizes of your thumb. Uh, if you're using turbo switch grip or the IT from Vice, you want to have three to four different sizes, right? Even in case one breaks, you can put tape in a slightly bigger one, uh, take tape out of a slightly smaller one, right? So you always get something that works. Grips and glue. Not a complete necessity as there'll be lots of pro shops around, but for only a couple bucks, you might as well have it in your bag just in case. Also in that tier, we got rosin. Easy slide, right? You never know where you're, where you're bowling. You're going different bowling alleys, different humidity. Uh, your skin might get a little tacky, a little bit dry. So you want to make sure that the ball's coming off your hand the way you want it to. So those are tier two for necessities. Tier three, no pads, uh, but you can find those anywhere, right? You don't, you don't have to go to a pro shop to get those. Cards, gum, you know, those are just the extras that I like to have. Chapstick. Yeah. <laughs> At least. <laughs> well, Jordan, thanks for taking the time to show us everything that's in your bag. Anything you want to add? Yeah, one final thing. I know lots of people don't have a backpack. Right, they just throw all this crap in their bowling bag in the side pouches. Get a backpack, right? You know, you don't want to be losing stuff. You don't want your bowling balls to be crushing other things. Get a backpack, put it all in here nice and neat. You know, not how I scroll on the table. Put it in nice and neat, keep it separate. You know, you don't want to. You don't want to be losing things or everything separate and all together in back. But also if you're in a tournament and you're changing lanes and you're going different ends of the houses, you want to bring everything with you. You don't want it tucked away in the corner with your stuff. Great point. Yeah. Bowling tournament, you're never on the same lane for more than one game. So backpack, balls, head to the next lane. Nice and quick. Great point, Mark. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for watching all our videos. Uh, make sure to subscribe below. Speaking of that, thanks to everyone for 1,000 subs. <laughs> Woo! What do we got next? What's on, what's on tap? Well, I think you got a web tour hybrid coming, don't you? That's right. And I got the Roto Rubicon on the way. So stay tuned for those videos right around the release date. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hey, you forgot your stuff.